Hi all, this is Anderson Trent with another video which is linked to a giveaway but that I will explain later to you. First off, we're gonna talk about the Reliant and whether it's under or overpowered I want to discuss with you guys and I want to take up some facts we know and some things many people don't seem to take in adjustments because they think it's way overpowered for some reason personally I don't see why but hey everyone has a right to their opinion so first let's take on the fact that many people see the Reliant as a starter ship and though it's kind of true I partly disagree with this the main point being the price let's all just be fair and square the Reliant costs more money if I'm gonna take in my country and I'm gonna buy it with US dollars there's a lot of them difference between the three ships that are considered starter ships first up the Aurora ES or simply the bare bones Aurora however you wanna see it is the cheapest one of the Auroras aka the base model which is the same as the Reliant you are also buying the base model and you're buying it without a package so that's why I compare it to the Aurora ES with the base package without the base package why without because well that's fair because you're not gonna compare one stone to ten stones in weight because that's not easy and that's not realistic if you're gonna compare something you're gonna compare it good from the start map so that ship the Aurora ES is $24 and $20 at least where I live I can judge for all of you because maybe the price where you live are a bit different but that's everywhere and I'm not gonna look it up for all of you the Mustang Alpha comes in at the second cheapest ship with $36 and $30 now the Reliant the big ship the one people say is the third starter I personally think it's just above starter it's up together with the Avenger the 300 series those kinds of ships because that's the price point it has currently the sale without a package is $60.50 where I live again so second off we're gonna look at it so many people say well it should be slower than Aurora well actually on a round of verse they said it will be between an Aurora in speed and a Mustang Alpha so we don't really know what that's gonna mean we know it's faster gonna it's going to be faster as an Aurora but slower as a Mustang okay seems pretty clear to me it's a bigger ship in general bigger ships are slower so this makes sense too now let's look at what our focus at the Mustang combat mostly combat racing it's a fast agile ship takes less cargo but it's faster more agile better armed now the Aurora I see the ship as a little bit of it can do everything but it's not the best in anything it's a working horse it doesn't look pretty in my opinion which is again personal I know you can all disagree or agree I don't care that's a personal thing then the Reliant the base model we have at this moment for sale is mainly built as a cargo transporter, a mini transporter to say it. Now let's get at point two. Many people want to compare the numbers but and the stats, but the first thing you're gonna learn about Star Citizens, the numbers currently don't really mean much. And this you need to take with a grain of salt or the boat load. I don't care how you take it, but 
numbers will change due to balancing but the biggest problem is most people only seem to focus on two numbers either they focus on the cargo and the cargo space yes it has more as the other two it's logic that's his main point the other point is weapons most people look at but many people seem to forget other points like how many people do you need to fly a ship at its full potential with an Aurora and a Mustang this is just one with a Reliant it's likely gonna be two it does not mean you cannot fly it solo it just means it's way more effective when you fly it with two people or one person and an NPC which costs money also many people forget things like mass which is really important because a ship with lower mass, more thrusters, is gonna go faster. The engines, aka thrusters, shields, power supply, size in general. A bigger ship is a bigger target, so it needs stronger shields to be able to take around the same hit. It's easier to hit. There's so many things. Now, five is it really overpowered? In my opinion, I think the way it currently is, I think it may be a little bit underpowered. But this is just my current opinion. I haven't flown it yet and I cannot wait to fly it. First thing I gotta say, it's really hard to say by just looking at that. This ship is overpowered or underpowered. If you remember the M50, that ship was seriously underpowered in gunfire compared to all the other ships when it first came in the arena commander but it kicked ass because it was so fast the service couldn't get up up so it often lagged but even when they fixed the problem it had still a good amount of firepower and it was almost impossible to hit because it was small and this ship is not gonna be small it's big really big I like this ship personally so I'm gonna give you all the chance to win one. This giveaway is a little bit different than the other giveaways I've done so far. To compete it's pretty easy. You need to comment on this form post. I, If you looked in, at this on, on YouTube I will definitely put a link down below the video where you can go comment. But the comment needs to be on the discussion. And I'm not gonna just let someone who agrees with me win I'm gonna let the best comment win whether that is against or for it I don't care I'm gonna look at the comments and say hey that comment of Mr. MyMe74 or whoever you are is gonna win because he explained why he felt that way and why he did so what are the questions you can answer or which you can go with well first off is it really a starship and so is it really better this is a general question with not much depth and you can say yeah it's starship no it's not starship you I would like if you also please find what in your eyes is a starship because that's really important for CIG to know so in the future they can try to make better ships not that they're bad absolutely not they're very good the second is do you agree with people need to stop comparing this ship to other ships before they actually have flown it my personal opinion is hell yeah because before you fly anything you cannot compare it the third is price let's be fair it's a if you consider it a starter, which CIG currently is considering it as kind of a starter, then what do you think of the pricing difference? Do you think this is too high or do you think it's good for what they offer? And the five is, do you find it under or overpowered and why? Like ship speed, what do you think it will be? Will it be good? Will it be bad? What do you like to see changed about it? If you have a comment on any of these things, please do. So, now the important. If you win, when will you win?
Well, I will end this on the 9th of June. Why 9th of June? Well, because that's my birthday and I feel like this year I'm going to give one of you a present too. So, if you want a present or make chance on the present because I, I don't gonna give away I don't know how many people will come in but 10 or 20 I'm just gonna give away one because hey it's sixty dollars and sixty dollars still a nice amount of money to just get for free I will contact you most likely by this site because this video giveaway will not be active on YouTube the video will be put on YouTube the link will be in there but until then, I hope to get some good and positive discussion going. Also, please keep mature if you start calling people names and I don't care what they say to you, just ignore them. If they're gonna call you, hey you fucking dickbag or whatever peep 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 they wanna say, just ignore them. Just say politely and mature. And for a round of... So... Now this is the end of the video, I uh, hope you all enjoyed it, I know I haven't made a lot of videos lately, this is mainly because one, my camera is broken, so again, I'm filming this on my phone, and two, I had some problems with my computer. The graphics card I ordered keep coming back, but it kept being broken, so I hadn't had much time to play the game. And I hope this will change, but in the coming few months, we will be very busy at my work. So, the chance that I get any real content out is very low. But I still do hope that those who are subscribed, stay subscribed. And I hope to see you all around the first, and I hope you have a nice weekend. And I wish you all good luck, and I hope to speak to you soon. Bye!